Today, I'm explaining what Cointreau is and why you should have it in your home bar. Welcome to another episode of Natalia Con Gusto. It's my pleasure to be here with you once again, demystifying cocktail spirits and ingredients so that you can make better cocktails at home. Before we begin, go ahead and hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe because it does help other people find this valuable content. When I started in the bar and restaurant industry 20 years ago, yeah, 20 years ago, it's been a wild ride. When I started 20 years ago, I had no idea what was in a cocktail. I had no idea what made them delicious. I didn't know how they were made. I didn't even know how one ingredient could totally impact the entire cocktail. Well, it's really been within the last 10 years that I dove headfirst into the world of mixology and I've been doing it professionally since then. In fact, my day-to-day -day job is creating custom cocktails for bars and restaurants. Yes, that favorite cocktail of yours, it could have been my creation. That's of course if they don't have a lead mixologist, but still, this is what I do every day. Why am I telling you all this? Because during this pandemic, when so many bars and restaurants are watching every single penny that they spend and are challenged with optimizing every ingredient they have, they are faced with the same dilemmas that I bet you, you have faced in your own home bar for many years already. And that is trying to create a vast array of cocktails with a limited number of bottles. There are so many choices out there. How do you decide which ones to buy? Trust me, nobody wants to buy something that they're only going to use once in a very small amount. You want a product that has vast applications. Which brings me to Cointreau. And no, nobody is paying me to say any of this. I'm simply bringing to you information about products that I truly believe in and Cointreau is one of them. So today I'm answering three of your most common Cointreau questions. What is Cointreau? It is the world's first triple sec. Yes, it falls under the category of orange liqueur, but that's such a vast category. It really helps to break it down into the two primary styles, which is triple sec and curacao. Now, curacao was created long before Cointreau triple sec. It was created by the Dutch trading companies who used bitter Laraja oranges found on the island of Curacao. And this is where the Cointreau brothers come in because the Cointreau brothers thought Curacao was too bitter and too sweet. And so they set out to create a new liqueur that was less bitter and also had less sugar, as well as a more pronounced orange flavor. In 1875, they finalized the recipe, which was a neutral base spirit distilled with triple the amount of orange oils. They also use the least amount of sugar on the market for orange liqueurs. This is where we get triple sec. What resulted from this is a spirit with an intensely bright orange flavor to it, which really when you taste it, it is so pure and fresh. It almost tastes like and feels like somebody just spritzed fresh orange oil right onto my face. <laughs> This whole video came about after doing the margarita episode last week and then I started researching Cointreau and I saw some online reviews where it said, oh, it just smells and tastes like orange, no big deal. And I just thought that was completely unfair because that is exactly the point. You want it to taste like orange and like I said, it's so pure and fresh. Cointreau is really beautiful. That is exactly the point. It's supposed to taste like orange. Moving on. Next question, why is Cointreau triple sec clear while other orange liqueurs like Curacao's are amber? Okay, this one's really easy and straightforward. It's because they start out with different base spirits. Cointreau triple sec starts out with a neutral base spirit and it hasn't been aged in a barrel, which aging is what gives a spirit that amber color. So that neutral base is really what allows that orange flavor to just punch right on through. Curacao's on the other hand, typically have a base of brandy and more prominently cognac, which has been aged in a barrel, which is why you'll see that beautiful amber color. So it's a really, it's a different base. So with a Curacao that's been aged in a barrel, you'll get additional notes of spice, toffee, maybe a richness to it that might tame down some of the orange notes, which is fine for some cocktails and don't get me wrong, 
Curacao is a beautiful spirit, it's simply different. The neutral base for Cuancho, on the other hand, is really meant to amplify those orange notes. And the third question is, can Cuancho and Curacao's be used interchangeably? Well, because they're really two different styles, they really shouldn't be used interchangeably. Most of the classics that we still make today call specifically for Cuancho, and for good reason. Cuancho provides a brightness that is very versatile. It's used in classics like the Sidecar, Corpse Reviver No. 2, the Cosmo, and of course, the Margarita. You might still be asking, yeah, 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 can't I just go buy a triple sec for $5.99 in the local liquor store? You do that and get back to me. <laughs> what tends to happen with those other brands is you get this strange aftertaste that's almost medicinal. There's an artificial orange note to them, almost like when you had those vitamin C pills as a kid. It tastes kind of like that. But look, I'm not here to bash any brands. I'm here to give you my best recommendations on spirits and ingredients, as well as the tips, tricks, and know-how that has come from years and years in the industry. The reason I love Cointreau and why I advocate it for the bars and restaurants on which I consult, and also for my friends and family when they're trying to decide which triple sex to buy, is because one, it's a high quality ingredient. Try it on its own with one sip, I promise you, you will be converted. The other reason why I love this so much is precisely because it has the least amount of sugar of any other triple sec on the market. And what that does is it gives me greater flexibility in building complex and varied drinks. Because when I'm making cocktails, I'm challenged with making more complex flavors and piling on different ingredients. And if every ingredient is packed with sugar, it makes it really hard to do. So I'd rather stick with ingredients that have a lower sugar level, but also pack a punch. And that's exactly what Cointreau does for me. That's what I have for you today. I hope you learned something. Truly, this is a passion project for me. I have a day-to-day -day job where I make cocktails literally every day, but I love sharing my knowledge and know-how with my friends and family. Truly, this channel is my love letter to you because there are so many gorgeous spirits on the market and you deserve to know all about them. All right, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ding that bell so that you get alerted every time there's a new video and make sure to hit subscribe. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next week.